Good morning and welcome to Paul T's World. In this video, we're going to have a look at the aquatic plants in the pond that are in flower in May. And also some of the birds that visit the pond to have a bath on a daily basis. So let's go and have a look at the pond. The plants are growing nicely in the pond. It's starting to fill out. There are more water lily leaves now on the surface. They tend to be a burgundy color to begin with and then later on in the summer they turn green. These are the yellow flag iris. These particular ones were rescued from a pond that was being filled in in the grounds of an old school native to Britain. I really like them because they give me memories of walking in the countryside in Britain along streams and in ponds. They give some nice height to the pond as many of the aquatic plants can be quite short. This particular one was blown horizontal in the latest winds. I was going to try and tie it upright but before I did it then started to grow upright. A lot of birds come to bathe in the pond and here we have one of the singers, the quintessential British Robin. Two of the baritone singers that coo in the background, the wood pigeon. And here we have one of those starlings that uh, arrived a week ago. They really enjoy their bath. And here is one of my favorite birds, soprano singer, the Dunnock. There are lots of them in the garden. And the star of the show on the singing front, the blackbird. This is a magnificent male blackbird. Yellow beak, beautiful glossy coat. Along the margins of the pond, we have bog bean. A pretty little plant with lovely white flowers. I planted them here on the left hand side and then they've started now to march around the pond. So once they've finished flowering, I'm going to transplant some of them so they're all together in a nice display. Moving across the pond now to the water plantain. I really like the shape of these leaves and the way the light glints through them. And they will be in flower with lovely little white flowers next month. Camera is now just traveling up to this gorgeous American water iris. It's called Gerald Darby. As a backdrop to the pond, there's a Wygela. I really like the Wygelas. They flower every year. They tend to flower on new growth, so it's a good idea to cut them back after flowering. This particular one is called Bristol Ruby. And from the colors, we can see why. I have some hostas in containers that I move around the garden, perhaps putting them near the pond. A view over to the pond, looking over the London Pride. So that's the pond in May, the first aquatic plants in flower, looking gorgeous. 
I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my pond in May. Thanks for watching Paul T's World, and I'll see you next time. Bye!